All right, Emma, what the f did you do? Anna, reload time decreased from 1.5 to 0.75 seconds. That's busted. Slept targets now appear in kill feed. Allies now see an icon above the slept enemy. Turrets can now be slept. Sleep dart can now stop Diva's mech from flying in self-destruct. Nano boost. Now instead of granting increased healing received to the target, it now causes the target to heal for 50% more. Cast time reduced from 0.15 to 0.05 seconds. Holy shit. Final blows dealt by allies affected by nano boost now increase Anna's current cooldowns by one second. Sorry, decrease. Sorry, I was gonna say increase. What? Exit maximum height increased by 50%. Time to charge increased from one to two seconds. Immortality field duration decreased from five to 1.5 seconds. Cooldown decreased from 25 to 23 seconds. Now prevents allies from dropping below 20% of their maximum health up from 10%. I like this change because it means you have to be concise with how you use lamp. It just isn't like a bailout button. Amphit, Camphitian, Matrix, Baptiste can now deal self healing with the biotic launcher while the ultimate is active. Duration lowered from 10 to eight seconds. Nice. Inspire, expires immediately after Brig dies, huge. Shield Bass, distance covered increased by 15%, now retains more velocity while colliding with terrain. Whipshot, Ra while Rally is active, Whipshot functionally changes to the, ch functionally changes to the following. Damage and knocks back all enemies within a seven meter radius. Restricts Briggs movement for 0.75 seconds. Increases the cooldown for the remaining duration of rally plus four seconds. So what? She just goes like whoosh, and just fucking knocks everybody back. God damn. Lucio, while, ride, while wall riding, damage increased from 20 to 25. Sound barrier, enemies that are in the area of effect are now knocked back six meters. So you can boop people in, you can boop people by bringing down um, sound barrier. That's kind of nuts. Mercy, Valkyrie is no longer an ultimate ability. It is now ability two. Healing increased from 55 to 70 health per second. Cicada staff beams no longer attached to additional allies. Duration reduced from 15 to three seconds. Cooldown is now 20 seconds. Flying movement increase, decrease, speed decreased from seven to six seconds. Guardian Angel's movement speed reduced from 25 to 20. Resurrect is now an ultimate ability, can resurrect up to five people at once. Maximum range increased from five to eight fire. meters. Moira, new passive. Quick melee slows enemies down by 30% for one second. This effect has 10 second cooldown per enemy. Biotic grasp. Primary fire maximum resource increased by 12.5%. Biotic orbs no longer change speed when near valid targets. Orbs now move at the consistent 5.5 meters per second. After activating the ability, holding primary or secondary fire for one second will cause you to fire faster orb that moves at a constant 20 meters per second. Wait, after activating the ability, the holding primary fire or secondary fire for one second. Oh, so you can just go. Someone just fucking launch that. Call lessons. Channeling on an enemy target continuously for two seconds will now lift them off the ground for three seconds. This effect can happen once per enemy. You 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 literally can go like and just fucking blast them into the air. Like what? Passive elevation. Genetic can jump higher if he holds the jump button. Ammo increase from 20 to 25. Orb of Harmony grants an additional roll specific effect. If attached to an ally for two seconds, tanks get 20% damage reduction. Damage get a 10% movement speed increase support. Healing received increase from 30 to 40 south per second. Orb of Discord. Damage amplification reduced from 25 to 20%. ML, you are you are killing it right now. You are fucking killing it. Symmetra, move from damage to support roll. Now sees any ally health bars by default like other support heroes. Primary fire damage per section per second decrease from 60, 20, 180 to 40, 80, 120. Secondary fire damage reduced from 120 to 80. Secondary fire deals up to 50% increased damage to non-heroes like turrets and barriers. Ammo increased from 70 to 80. Sentry turret, health increased from 60 to 50. Or I mean, 30 to 50. Great, now I can't kill it with one swing of my fucking, my little flaccid, tor I mean, Rhinehammer. No longer deals damage. Now heals allies, heals 20 health per second per turret. Maximum range increased from 10 to 12 meters. Building time reduced from 0.75 to 0.5 seconds. Cooldown reduced from 10 to 8 seconds. No longer slows target's movement speed. Teleporter cooldown increased from 10 to 12 seconds. Allies that take the teleporter receive a 40% movement speed increase for 2 seconds. 
This effect has a 10 second cooldown per ally. Photon barrier, health reduced from 4,000 to 2,500 health. Duration reduced from 12 to 10 seconds. Ultimate cost reduced by nine. Okay, first up, Ana. So Never her reload. Fighting for what you believe in. <laughs> there they are. <laughs> why? Why even give it a reload? Just have it act uh, instant. Uh, sleep dart. It showed up in the kill feed. There's an indicator saying they're sleeping. I kind of like these changes. I'm not gonna lie. These actually seem like some pretty bog changes. I need you to kill these bots. Ready? Throwing a nade. You're powered up. Kill Get them. In there. Look at the timer bottom right. It's jumping up by one second per kill. One second. Boom. So every time he kills a target, my fucking, my my API goes through the roof. Tease can jump higher, but it takes longer to charge. Oh my Jesus Christ! Um, immortality field changed, so it only lasts for 1.5 seconds, so it's a quick burst. It only saves me from like that of a second. When I put my ult up, I can heal myself. So if, if you really need to save yourself bad, you can actually ult and just start healing yourself. All right, so Brig has gotten some changes where she goes further with Bash. So let's see. Nothing too significant, but... Um, there's a big one with her rally. Rally to me. Wait. So got some All right, ready? Rally to me. Oh my god. It slaps everyone around. Lucio. So on, Lucio does five more damage with boops if he's wall riding so it does 25 damage but the big one appears to be that wasn't that big maybe i had to be closer for to, to do a lot more i wonder if it also has an effect with how high you drop it ready that's not very significant it's very small but Still could have its uses. Very small boop though. I kind of, I kind of thought it was gonna be bigger. You could stack it probably. You could probably stack it. Ready? I think I booped him way too far. By the way, that that right click boop was actually insane. I like sent him to the moon. I think the railing might be stopping him honestly. The railing just really stopped that range interesting uh mercy okay mercy got some crazy stuff so first off her e is valk so this is her valk right now i'm here it's a little bit slower but it's not an ultimate um she does more healing as well which by the way mercy doing more healing and the tank damage being as nerfed as it is like Never die. Healing stream I, I feel like it's this is gonna be kind of insane. Alright, let me let one of them die. Get them off me. And it presses Cool. So let's see. First off. First off. You gotta, if you melee them, they move slower. Wait, fuck, that wasn't a melee, I'm stupid. Ready? Oof. That's wild. Hold on, let's see. Kame, Hame, ha! He might not be as strong because he's got the stun fast, but let me see. Surrender to my will. So it becomes a bit of a grab. The true enemy of humanity is disorder. All right, ready? Fences in place. So Sim's turrets now do healing. That's kind of wild. So Sim still does damage. She still has her ultimate. It's, but it's lowered by a pretty good chunk. 
in her turrets heal. So honestly, on like certain points, you could just set up turrets like around a corner and it'll heal. Someone said ML said the sim was bugged. It's it's bugged because it's not supposed to keep healing after it stops. Like that's what the bug is. It, that doesn't mean that's not what it's supposed to do. That's literally what it's supposed to do. It's just not supposed to continue doing that after they're full heal. Thank you. So yeah, sim is... Oh, also you get a speed boost. You get a speed boost if you go through sim's TP. So, but it has a 10 second cooldown on it. So I think it's like something like that, 10 second cooldown. So if I go through the TP after 10 seconds, let's assume that's 10 seconds, you get a, sp a speed boost coming out of it. So you can just be respawning like this. Like that's crazy. And then we have Zenyatta, who got a harmony orb change so that tanks uh, get 20% or take 20% less damage. DPS go 10% faster uh, and supports get extra healing if you put it on them. Also, if you hold space or hold jump, they go up further. Oh my God. He's a levitating boy. So he's, he's a little bit of a jumpy boy. He's got more ammo in his left click. And Discord is 20% now down from 25. So he's less of a tank buster, more about left clicks, left clicks, and right clicks rewarded, and his healing's a little bit better. Which I think is a good change. Like, actually. The jumpy boy in, in changes in the healing is a little bit weird, but the Discord aid, good orb change is an actually, like, good for the game change, so.